As we last left off, we had just completed the castle courtyard. Yes, the first of 32 here again, we're moving on to the main hall. Ready for some deja vu? Now be careful not to whip some of these candles, because they can drop items without warning. As well as the enemies, such as, those, such as these zombies. The bats can sometimes catch you off guard, too. These knights here, they're all about timing. Picking good time to actually whip them. But once you actually pick a good time to whip them, since the whipping actually stuns all the enemies as all the other attacks do in this game, oh man, that was close. You can very easily kill them. This next room I'm a little bit worried about. Because now we have spiders in combo with the more dangerous skeleton knights. This, each enemy only takes one hit to kill, though, so there isn't much to worry about. This next room has a bunch of skeletons in there. But hey, we're not going to let those stop us, are we? And they also have these slimes. Fortunately, every enemy here only takes one hit to kill. Alright, get out of here. You scroll yourself back on screen, but I'm not going to let that stop me. You scroll yourself back on too. But, let's get you out of the way. <clears throat> so, this is the last stretch. Well, the next to last stretch. Okay. This is a pretty easy stage, so there isn't much to discuss here. And we take you out. Now it automatically teleports us up here. So I believe this place does have the triple shot, but of course, no advantage for Grant, because in this game he cannot get a triple shot of the axe. Now for this place we want to keep walking, because there's a crumpling... This is the crumpling floor of hell. You can't... You could try crawling under with Grant, but... It's very risky to do, because you might end up falling off. Just keep walking, you should be just fine. And for good measure, let's just destroy the dagger. Okay, now it's time to fight death. I have no real organized strategy to fight this guy. The only real plan I have is to throw a holy water at him. And everything that hits you drains a core of your life. And oh my god, I might have this. Alright, first form down. The second form is ridiculously easy. All he does is floats around and shoots one scythe on screen at a time. Oh my god, let me hope, let's hope I can do it. Oh yes, thank god. Plenty of outtakes, I'm pretty sure you know just where they are. <sighs> Glad to have this stage done.